What's up, Cotton Nation? I'm back. Ready to do videos again. But I'm still working a lot. So, let's get this video going with the update PS4 collection just for y'all. Cue intro. Yeah! yeah. King Cotton 9000 here with a video for y'all today. We're going to take a look at PS4. Again, I know I'm doing a lot more PS4 collection updates than I am doing other ones. Reason why I'm into PS4, just so that y'all new supporters know, everyone that's been on my channel for a while has no I am big fan with the PS4 games. I like every other console, but I like the PS4 for a lot of games. So, I know I've been gone. I'm working a lot because this virus going around. I'm essential. Working in grocery store, so that's why I've been, been doing videos. But, I'm back and I'm going to do this huge PS4 collection. I got some new games. I got Still some old ones, but can you guess how many at the end of this video how many PS4 games I have in total? I'll give you a chance. It's between 90 to 120. I give you that range. But before I show you what games I have in the question, make sure you like the video. Comment down below what any videos you want me to do on this channel. I will be doing uh, another one after Final Fantasy 7. Another updated collection. And yeah, that's so y'all can see what games I got with Final Fantasy 7. So, that's all you got comment down below. And also, if you're new and you like collection updates, unboxings, and hopefully I'll be doing toy hunts during this thing. I'm trying to, but there's big crowds and that's why I haven't been up on toy hunts or anything yet. But I will soon enough. But yep, since we got all of that and hit that notification bell also. That's so you get notified when I upload videos on this channel just for y'all so let's get started on the first pile there's four piles so first one Skyrim's Trap Team eh, I haven't got the rest of Skyrim for PS4 I got mostly all PS3 this was pretty fun for old kids but it's still a lot of fun we got Kingdom Hearts 3. I know there's uh, all in one edition with Kingdom Hearts 3 and the rest of them. I will get that soon enough, but I want to at least have this one and the other one before I will get the other one. So I still need a platinum on this before I can get that. So with that, the story so far story so far I don't know why my freaking voice is acting up or my accent or something strong but yep this is the story so far how McFly got me this I think for Christmas or my birthday that's why I remember but yep this is an awesome series comes with first to 2.5 very awesome set then we got Just Cause 4, Day 1 Edition Steel Book. It is an awesome looking steel book. Shall we see? But yep, Just Cause 4. I don't know if they're making a Just Cause 5. You gotta see about that. Then we just got Just Cause 3. Pretty awesome, fun game. But Just Cause 4 beats Just Cause 3. That's why I'm 
That's my opinion. Then we got Spiral Renegade Trilogy. An awesome trilogy. Comes with Spiral the Dragon. What the? Spiral. Westville and Spiral Year of the Dragons. All three of those games, original, remaster on this game. So yeah, this is awesome. Then we got Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Comes with two bonus levels. And a story, ascent, and future tips. So we got Crash Bandicoot, the first one. Second one, and... Warps. Warps. On here. And they won't come with the other ones, just the three original ones. But yep, if you like those three, pick this game up for your collection. Oh boy. Well, with this game, it's phenomenal just because AJ Styles is on the cover of 2K19, which he was already defeated by the Undertaker, so he's not phenomenal. But he's a phenomenal one AJ Styles on the cover. If you want to burn down 2K18 with Seth Rollins, you do that. Or you could go to Suplex City with Brock Lesnar in 2K17. Or better yet, you enjoy Austin 316 day while playing 2K16. Then we got the last thing of the Uncharted series, Uncharted Lost Odyssey. It was actually a really awesome game though. It's how we, the Uncharted series is over. But Lost Odyssey is taking over, so which is good. Then we got Uncharted 4 at Thief's End. Freaking awesome game to the PS4. It was like, I think the third or fourth game to the PS4 in the first I think week of it being released but yeah this was a phenomenal game to play and I will keep on playing it over and over and we got the PlayStation Hits Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection it comes with Drake Fortune, Among Thieves and Drake's Deception all in one disc it's actually a really awesome question. Y'all like Uncharted? Get that for PS4. Or your PS3, you get all three for a cheap price. Then we got Knack. It's a very awesome game, but I haven't gotten to Knack 2, which is probably the next part of this. So this is fun, but I need to play Knack 2 to finish the whole series. But yep. Knack is a very awesome game to play. Then we got Killzone Shadowfall. It was fun. It was... Story was pretty cool. But with uh, some areas, I was actually... Well, this kind of looks like a uh, Destiny area. But it's his own thing. That's my perspective of the guy in Killzone. But we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They brought the series back. I don't know how and why, but it was actually a pretty fun game, but pretty short. Hopefully there's an expansion to it. We got Call of Duty World War II. Bring back the past from World War II in history to a video game. It was Call of Duty was all about bringing history to a video game. We got Call You Black Ops 3. It was pretty fun. And it was pretty strange at the end of it. Because I don't know. They didn't complete this whole story to Black Ops 4. They didn't even include the story. So that's why I'm not getting Black Ops 4. The OSC Edition. That comes with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and the Modern Warfare Remastered. Modern Warfare Remastered, excellent. Infinite Warfare, eh, it was okay. Now this game was freaking awesome. 
God of War. This new one. It's awesome, and this game makes me want to buy the collector's edition of it. Just for a statue and steelbook and all the rest. Because that's how awesome this game was. This actually blew my mind of how God War was back then to now. So hopefully they make it normal. We got PlayStation Hits God War 3 Remastered. Freaking awesome game. Out out of one, two, or three. Three is actually one of the most best graphic games back on the PS3. And now remastered on PS4. So if you don't have this game, pick it up. It is worth every penny. We got Don't Make Cry 5. This game was actually really, really cool. Awesome graphics, storyline, stay with it. And hopefully we get Don't Make Cry 6. Hopefully. And we got Don't Make Cry Definitive Edition. Pretty fun game. Some new characters, some old ones, like some names. Dante, Virgil, still the same one. But a little bit different concept. Now we're going to a series that's going to have it onto PlayStation 5. The Assassin's Creed series. So we're going to start with Assassin's Creed Chronicles. It comes with... India, China, and Russia. So you can play either one of those instead of series. So it's actually pretty fun. Those are different ones that you can play as in front. It's actually really, really fun. I'm telling you. Other people say it was good. Some people say it was eh. But with me, it was actually really good. Just like this game, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you can't go wrong with this one. This was phenomenal. I like how it showed some stuff from our games like God War. It showed the Kratos cave. That was pretty cool and you could go to different areas of the gods with temples. Very awesome. But if you don't want to go Greek mythology, you might go want to go to... Egypt. This game was very fun. The boss at the end was pretty tricky to beat. For me, it was actually really awesome to actually have a hard boss in Assassin's Creed game. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It was okay. I I sucked at driving a pirate ship. The pirate ship wouldn't go the direction I wanted to. So, I liked the game, but I didn't like the pirate ship. Then we got limited edition version of Assassin's Creed Yuri. Unite all assassins to your team. But not one again. Might as well grab the last ones. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Really awesome new... Uh... Era Assassin's Creed. So this actually brought a new era to it. We got Star Wars Battlefront 2. The Elite Trooper Edition. Battlefront 2 was pretty good. Didn't like the multiplayer that much. Because it was crazy and out of whack. Evolve. Really good game. Some people liked it. Some people hate it. With me it was awesome. It was pretty good. Texas X Mankind Divided Day 1 Edition. With this one, I would say it was okay. I wasn't the best at it, but the graphics were good, the story was awesome, so I would say it was a good game. So that was the first pile. Now let's go on second one. Wait. There we go. Next up is Need for Speed Heat. An awesome, phenomenal Need for Speed storyline. Awesome new cars. This game is amazing. I'm still playing it all the time. Taking my time through the story because I love the racing area. So, taking my time with this game, you gotta get it. 
Need for Speed Payback. A little bit glitchy, but the racing was out of this world awesome. But not better than Need for Speed Heat. That's all I can say. Gran Turismo Sports PlayStation hits. It's good, it's awesome, but my favorite Gran Turismo is Gran Turismo 5, so this is number two. Okay. One of the greatest remasters and on the PS4 ever, The Last of Us Remastered. From the PS3 to the PS4, and we are getting a second one, which has been pushed back, sadly, but this is an awesome freaking game. If you haven't got this in your PS4 collection, you are missing out. You need this in your collection. Now we're getting to an awesome series, which I finally completed, which is the Resident Evil series. So I got Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, Gold Edition. This was actually the most scariest one of all time. If you play at night, I think you'll become a 20-year-old to a 5-year-old like that. That's why I'm saying. That's how I was kind of. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Having those parents and stuff come at you when it's completely dark in your room, all you see is to you. Don't judge me. Next is we got Resident Evil 6. Very awesome game. Very, very creative with some of the new infected people. But there's two Adas in the game, just to let you know. That's so you don't get confused. There's two Adas, one's good, one's the one. One's the evil one, copycat. So this game is very cool. Resident Evil 5. It brings you a new character to try to find one of the old characters. I won't tell you who you're trying to find. But you have to play it yourself to figure out. Sorry about the lighting, it's a little bit dim, but I opened the window for y'all. Yeah, that kind of did some. We got Resident Evil 4, it was actually PlayStation 2, then PS3, now PS4. This was a phenomenal game, PS2, now PS4, really good. One of the new games that just came out not too long ago, and I just got it, I haven't played it yet. Can't tell you, because this is probably one of the shortest games ever. We got Resident Evil 3. This game, I have been watching a lot of streams of it. It's phenomenal. The graphics are out of this world. The zombies are harder. But it takes two hours to beat this game, what I've been hearing. So that's why I'm not rushing into this game yet. But I want to save this for last. So this game, I'm going to wait to tell y'all. This one, I'm almost done. I'm on Claire's story. Resident Evil 2. Very awesome. One of the best remakes are in Resident Evil 3. To the PS4 series. Very awesome. So uh, this was my first ever Resident Evil game. Ever. So I'm happy I have this. And we got Resident Evil Original Collection. I think it comes with 0 and 1 in this. But yeah, graphics are a little bit different. Different characters to y'all from the actual Resident Evil series. But this game will tell you how and why the Z-Virus is in this game series. Resident Evil, that's how it was created. You got ways to get to know how it happened. We got Resident Evil Revelations 2. This game actually has a double, which comes with Resident Evil Revelations. This is a part one, part two thing. So if you get one, you gotta get the other to complete the story. So you actually have to buy both of them. So yep, this is awesome series and I can't wait to play it again. Watch Dogs, very awesome game. You had computers and all that stuff. You like doing that on a video game? Do that. Don't do it out of real life. Don't. But Watch Dogs, I still need Watch Dogs too. 
Mass Effect Andromeda. It was pretty good, a little bit uh, glitchy in some areas, but it was a pretty fun game. I went through it. One of the hardest games is Bloodborne. I died a lot, but it was still fun to play the hardest game ever in history. So, yep, Bloodborne, pretty hard. Another hard game, Dark Souls 3. One of the most hardest Dark Souls games that you will ever play. Hard in Dark Souls 2. That's all I gotta say. It was, I died a lot in that game. Then we got Vikings, what was a mid god? And it was okay. That's all I gotta say for that. Ghost Recon Breaking Point. Really fun, really awesome, and you get to play online. And that's actually really fun to play with your friends on this game. This one, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Freaking awesome series going on for Resident Evil. There, and then having this, Tom Clancy's Division 2. I'm hoping they make a third one. Please make a third one, Tom Clancy. This is an awesome series. Then we got the first one, which was the start, and it was the best one. Out of all of it, um, Division 2, I blew this one like it was a joke. Then we got Lords of the Fallen, it was okay. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 Season Pass Edition, it was actually a lot of an open world. That's what I'm in for. Monster Hunter World, one of the best PlayStations. Ah! Sorry guys, my cat was trying to open my door, I tried to close. Monster, Harlem World, it was a lot of fun. If you like open world and you like killing like monsters or dragons, whatever you want to call them, get this game and there's an Iceborne, I suddenly you get that. Battlefield 5, a lot of fun, story, different stories. Just like Battlefield 1. If you like that, you gotta get this game. Battlefield Hardline. Not a lot of people like this game because it's cops versus drivers, but I didn't like it either until I played it and it was actually a lot. Battlefield 1, same thing as Battlefield 5. Different stories you're going through and trying to learn you got guy or girl story from their war stories. And we got Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. One out of the, one of the best PlayStation exclusives that you'll ever get. It's not very last of us, but it was actually kind of the second best for me. So yep. I got the complete edition which comes with all DLCs. Both me and Hamid Five, we play it a lot and we are still gonna play it. We still need more DLCs to so unlock more characters. That's Mortal Kombat 11. You gotta watch his live streams when me and him are going out. So stay tuned for that. After his crisis is over. Some more awesome exclusive. We got Shadow Colossus. Freaking awesome game from PS2 to this. We got The Last Guardian. Freaking amazing game. Shadow War. This is a part two. And Shadow Mordor. So it's a part two thing. So you gotta get both to complete the full story. It's actually a really awesome story. So let's, let's get that pile over and let's move on to the third pile. We got Sniper V3. Uh, this is the ultimate edition. Comes with all DLCs. This is an awesome freaking game. I do have Sniper Elite 4, but it's digitally downloaded, but I will get a case, that's all I can show you. Swords, Jedi Fallen Order, freaking amazing freaking game. If y'all haven't played this and you like Star Wars, you're missing out big time. Death Stranding, very, very strange game, but it was pretty fun, but you're sent packages and go through a weird story. You gotta play for yourself to know how strange it is. Red Dead Redemption 2, freaking amazing game. 
I don't know what they're going to continue the series, but this game is phenomenal. That's all I can say. Borderlands and Hanson Collection that comes with pre sequel and Borderlands 2. Both of them are awesome remastered ones. And there are awesome remasters Borderlands, the first one, Game of Year Edition. Freaking awesome. It was. This game was pretty short, but it was a lot of fun. The Order 1886, a lot of fun. I'm gonna get a stack. We got Timefall 2, freaking awesome game. They didn't make it Timefall 3 because not a lot of people bought Timefall 2, so kind of sad. But another new game that I got is Dark Tower's Justice. So I completed all the Dark Tower's games except for this one, Dark Tower's 3, I'm still playing that. But I can't wait to get into this game soon enough. Then we got Dark Tower 3, which I was talking about, still trying to complete this. Really fun. Dark Tower 2 Definitive Edition, really fun, amazing game. And the first game I started the series, Dark Tower 1, War Remastered. Very fun game. So I got all Dark Tower's and all four horsemen. So, Final Fantasy 7 is almost here, so it will almost have all the Final Fantasy games on PS4. Going to, I got Type 0 Edition, Type 0 HD. That's that one, I got Final Fantasy 15. Those are your only two I got. Now I'm trying to get into it slowly. But I want to play Final Fantasy 7 really bad. We got Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Really, really fun game. Neo, I still need to get Neo 2. This game, freaking awesome. Can't wait to play Neo 2. This game, I haven't got into it yet. I've been so busy with work. I really want to play it. Because you raise hell and doom eternal. Freaking awesome game. I can't wait to play this. Let y'all know the next update. Not this second update that will come around to Final Fantasy Sound. But at the end of this year, you you can't wait for my reaction. PlayStation hits Doom. If this game was good and that game I was telling you about this actually is amazing too. Destiny 2, I got all DLCs, but it's pretty fun, but not better than the first game, Destiny. This was actually my favorite one. Then we got Dragon Ball Fire Z. Me and Hot Fly haven't got one on one, I just played a little bit and just got done with it. But it was pretty fun, I still need Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We got Dragon Ball Xenoverse, still need a second one, but this one's a lot of fun. Okay, we're almost there with the third pile. We got, this was actually awesome, I'm happy I got this edition. Game of Year edition of Marvel Spider-Man. Freaking awesome game, I can't wait for Marvel Avengers and a second game to this. That's how awesome it was. We got Rage 2. Freaking awesome game. I don't know if they're going to make a Rage 3. I played the first Rage. But I don't know if they're going to make a third one. Metal Gear Survive. It was pretty different from the other Metal Gear games. But this is a survival game. So if you like survival games, you got to play Metal Gear Survive. Fallout 4. Freaking awesome game here. Between Skyrim and Fallout 4, both of them are freaking awesome games, but if you're a Fallout fan, you gotta play Fallout 4. It's better than Fallout 76. Then we got a hard collection to get. We got Heavy Rain Beyond Two Souls. Freaking awesome collection going on both. Extremely amazing games. That came from PS3 to this. So, if you can't find that, that's the reason why it's pretty hard to find. We got Detroit Become Human, freaking awesome game, 10 out of 10, that's all I gotta say. I'm advised chosen me, because I got that. And we got Control, 
everyone think it was a quantum break uh, thing going on, but it wasn't. So a lot of people were really been mad. So just keep on going. We got the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I still need to get a complete edition, but my mom loves this and it's a lot of fun. But I'm not playing this yet completely until I get a complete edition. We got two more definitive edition that's that's when she's on the island. This was a lot of fun. Shadow Zoomer was freaking awesome. I'm hoping they make another one here soon. And another game that was actually part one of Shadow Zoomer is Rise of the Tumor. Both of them are freaking amazing games. So let's get that pile over. And go on to the last pile of games. So we got this. I finally got this brand new. The Walking Dead Complete Telltale Series. So 1 through 4. Got all. I haven't, I haven't played it because I've been working. I will get into this. The Surge. Still need to get the first one, but this game is really awesome. Infinite Second Son. Really cool game. Um, they still haven't made a second one. Come on. We need a second one. Anthem. I call it Disney sequel. Because it kind of looks like it and acts like it. But it's its own thing. Far Cry New Dawn. It was actually a really awesome game. I can't lie. It was actually really good. Then we got Far Cry 5. I still need the rest of the Far Cry games I was on PS4. But this game was actually really good. That's, this is what got me into the Far Cry series. Then we got last game throughout my whole PS4 collection. And it's Prey. It was pretty fun. I don't know if they were going to keep, continue the series. Probably not. Yeah, that's my whole PS4 collection. That is a lot. Right there. But hopefully you enjoy the video, have a snack, drink, and all that stuff while watching this video. So, make sure you like the video, comment down below what reviews you want me to do. And if you want me to do uh, another one with Final Fantasy VII and the other games I got, let me know. And also... If you're new and you like these updates, hit that subscribe button to join the collective nation and also hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload videos just like this one for y'all. So that's all I gotta say. Stay safe, do what you're told during this, and stay over 9,000 while doing it. Peace out.